I was impressed at the amount of blood in Disney movies. Now don't get me wrong, Disney has definitely toned down the amount of blood we've seen throughout the years. In my previous video, we highlighted the film Mulan, and we saw that the main character was bleeding out after a fierce battle. Anyways, in today's video, we will dive into blood exclusively in Disney movies. There's actually a handful. First on the list comes from the movie Tangled. At this point in the film, Rapunzel had already escaped the tower. Accompanying her would be someone named Flynn, aka Eugene. The two were being chased down, however things go horribly wrong. Flynn painfully scrapes his palm by accident. I'll pay my respects to Disney for this one. Tangled was actually the first Disney movie I had ever seen as a kid, and I don't recall seeing blood in the film until now. Luckily for Flynn, later in the film, he was healed of this wound. Fast forward to the end of the same movie, and he gets stabbed. My goodness, give this man a break. Now here's where things get interesting. The dagger that was used to stab him is somehow spotless. Can someone make that make sense? Regardless of that, fast forward and we actually see him bleeding out immensely. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Everything is gonna be okay though. No. The blood is soaking through his clothes. Yo, so am I the only one who doesn't recall this film being this violent? We love to see it. Moving on to another Disney movie called Zootopia. After being scratched, we see that Judy suffers a wound. <laughs> I want you to remember this moment. This is very detailed. If you zoom in, you can actually see the marks left from that scratch. Look guys, I actually take back what I said in my previous video. This is actually graphic. Also, near the end of the film, we see Judy run to escape a troublesome situation. However, she actually ended up scraping her leg in the process. Ah! Ugh, carrots! The blood is terrifying. I now realize that the writers of Zootopia weren't afraid to hurt their main character. She suffers quite a lot throughout this movie. Judy was a character who just wanted to make society a better place, yet she's suffering so much. Now it's obvious to me that Disney toned down this movie. Guys, this is the animal kingdom we're talking about. I'm just thankful that we got something shown. You have to remember that every movie has a deleted scene and Zootopia has a lot of them. One could only assume that they took out scenes that featured a lot more blood. Regardless of this though, I think this was a solid film. Moving on to the movie Encanto, Mirabel accidentally cuts her palm, similar to that scene we saw earlier with Flynn. Although this is a minor wound, I still feel bad for Mirabel. I truly believe she is one of the most underrated characters in existence. She's so humble and has a kind heart that many people overlook her and think she's just boring. Unfortunately, oftentimes in life, nice people are taken for granted until the very end, but it does suck to see Mirabel hurt like this. I'm serious, I really like this character, and I wish people gave her the recognition that she deserves. But I do wonder if Flynn and Mirabel getting hurt like this is a coincidence or intentional. It's really hard for something to be a coincidence in a movie like this. Take for instance this scene from Wish. Did they seriously reuse the exact same pose again? You can even see the birds. Now I'm not saying this is a problem, I'm just stating that I noticed this immediately because remember, Tangled was one of the first movies I've ever seen in my life. Literally. So I vividly remember Rapunzel doing this same thing. Maybe we're just at the point where everything has been done before or this is simply a reference, who knows? Time will tell. Next up on the list comes from Hercules. During a tough battle with the Cyclops, he's brutally beaten. Hercules! He's so badly injured that blood pours out from his mouth. God, I just love these classics. I love the blood. Oh, but Kalobi, these movies were meant for kids. No, no, animation is not just for kids. Children should know what blood is even at a young age to prepare them for life. And when writers include blood in moderation, it can actually elevate an already amazing script by adding realism. Moving on, I have a question for you. Viewer, I don't want you to cheat, but let me ask you a question. Is there blood in The Lion King? You got five seconds to think about that answer. The answer is yes, but it's done very, very sneakily. Help me! Oh! 
See, if you blinked at the wrong time, you probably missed it. In fact, I'm going to have to slow this down using the power of computer technology just for your eyes to get a glimpse of that blood. The scene deals with Scar grabbing a hold of Mufasa, essentially piercing his blood vessels. Even if Mufasa didn't fall, I'm pretty sure he would bleed to death. No, seriously, can a scientist or doctor leave a comment down below telling me if Mufasa would have survived this? Aside from that, my goodness, the best films in the last two decades all have blood in it. I'm starting to notice a trend. I don't think this is a coincidence. Now going back to this scene, Disney only left the blood in for a couple frames to avoid any backlash. This is obvious. Fun fact about The Lion King, did you know that the team that worked on it expected it to flop? Moving on to a forgotten film called Tarzan. Kala sees something horrifying. Stains of blood, murder, a chilling sight. How many of you guys remember seeing this back in the day? Tarzan was found in the African jungle, which led to him growing up around animals. Really quickly, I'd like to say this. If you're gonna make a film about animals, it's always nice to see their nature come out. And not to single them out, but I believe that human beings also have urges as well. If I were to raise my sword to you and threaten your life, there's something called a fight or flight response. You wouldn't be able to control this automatic physiological reaction. I believe that human beings also have urges. Anyways, that was just my two cents. For those of you alerting me to the fact that there was more blood in Disney movies that I missed, I apologize for that. However, this got me thinking. I find it really strange that I wasn't able to remember that there was blood in some of my favorite animated movies. That's pretty wild. Also, I noticed that half my fan base had trouble remembering if there was blood in Zootopia or not. This made me think about the concept of the Mandela effect. After getting a couple comments on that video, I had to double check and double down on the research. For those of you who don't know, the Mandela Effect is where people collectively misremember events, historical facts, or any other famous pop culture moments. Another side of this is that we live in alternate realities where one person lived in a reality where there was no blood in Tangled or Zootopia, and another person lives in a different reality where there was blood in the movies and they remember it vividly. See, this doesn't just affect me. I noticed about half the people, even long-term fans, mega fans, had trouble remembering if there was blood in these films or not. Obviously, human beings aren't perfect. We make innocent mistakes. However, I asked the Snapchat AI, is there blood entangled? The AI responded with, there is a little bit of blood entangled, check mark. However, here's where things get freaky. Keep that Mandela effect in mind. I asked the AI, is there blood in Zootopia? And the AI responded, there is no blood in Zootopia despite the movie actually having blood. What in the world is going on here? I need a philosopher to explain this. This is pretty wild. Anyways, we are at the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider subscribing to this channel and becoming a channel member. You get awesome perks, you even get access to the private Discord. In conclusion, blood needs to be shown in animated movies. I read some of your magnificent comments on my last video, and I even saw that some of you guys are aspiring writers as well. Well, geez, I'm proud of you. You realize the magnitude of adding realism to your work, having a balance, not going over the top, while still respecting that animation can target any demographic. Oh, I'm so sorry. Everything is going to be okay, though. No. I want you to remember this moment. Ah! Ah, carrots! Ah. Yeah, I got you. Help me! Hercules! <laughs>